children's creativity. Brain science. Why do boats float on water? Chung Ah went to the public bath with her mommy. When she sat down in the tub, her body floated upwards. Mommy, my feet are floating. That's because water pushes your feet up. Mommy, the buckets are floating too. That's also because of the water. Water likes to push things away. Jung Ah placed an empty bucket on the surface of the water, then pushed it down. Then. She could feel the power of water pushing her away, as if it were saying, "No, don't push." An object underwater receives the force of the water pushing it. The power of the water pushing is called water pressure or hydraulic pressure. Jung Ah loaded lots of things into the basket. Oh, this is heavy. The water tried to push the basket upwards, but it couldn't anymore. No,、oh, I can't handle it anymore. The water moved sideways to escape the power pushing down. Then the bucket and the things inside all sank into the water. When the power of the object trying to sink is stronger than the power of the water pushing the object away, the object will sink. The power of the water that pushes objects up to the surface is called buoyancy. Daddy is placing some stepping stones in the river. Hoya helped him by rolling the big rocks underwater. Wow, I'm super strong. But he couldn't lift them up above the water. Why are they so heavy? Hoya glared at the rocks. Actually, under the water, the rocks seemed lighter because the water had pushed the rocks upwards, thanks to buoyancy. Chung Ah went swimming with her mommy and daddy. Daddy, my tube keeps on sinking in the water. She brought along a deflated rubber tube. Oh, it should be inflated so that it will float on the water. Daddy began to inflate the rubber tube until it was taut. Okay, that's it. Now it will float very well on the water. Jung Ah rode the rubber tube and enjoyed floating on the water. Hoya went to the port. To see some grand ships, there are fishing boats, passenger ships, and freighters that carry cargo. Boats and ships can float on water thanks to buoyancy. The power of the ships trying to sink is weaker than the power of the water pushing the ships away, so they float. The typhoon has brought heavy rains. The tree logs on the riverside were washed away by the rain. Empty plastic bottles and rubber tires also floated away. But the steel nail that someone threw into the river sank right away. Why did the nail sink? Was it because the nail was heavier than the tree logs? All substances are made up of tiny, tiny pieces. These pieces are called molecules. There are objects in which the molecules are loose or very tightly packed together. If it's a very hard object, its molecules must be tightly packed together. 
If an object's molecules are more tightly packed than water molecules, it will sink underwater. If we put hydrogen gas into a balloon, it will fly high up into the sky. Air molecules are less tightly packed than water molecules. If the weight is the same, a substance will be lighter and larger in volume with molecules farther apart. A balloon will inflate and become larger in volume with air. Then the surface area will increase and receive more buoyancy, then float. Metal clothespins, spoons, and nails will sink in water. Gold molecules are 19 times more densely packed than water molecules. So a golden object, let's say a golden ring, will sink right away. An object will float regardless of its weight or size. What matters is the density of its molecules. Aluminum foil is a solid. Aluminum is actually a light metal spread out thinly like paper. If you crumple it up and put it in water, it will sink. But if you make a box shape out of it and place it in water, it will float. This is because the box shape carries air and now has lower density than water. The blacksmiths are sweating hard, hitting the red-hot steel with hammers. Every time the steel is hammered, it becomes thinner. The blacksmiths can make plates, bowls, spoons, and many other things out of steel, just like a baker uses dough. This is because metal melts when it is hot. When you boil metal to a liquid state, then spread it out to cool down, it will become a flat plate. A lump of metal will sink in the sea, but a thin plate will not. So we make ships out of thin metal plates. This is because there are empty spaces inside ships that will fill with air, thus lowering the ship's density below that of water. Also, the volume underwater is bigger so there will be more buoyancy. Ships are amazing inventions that use the principles of density and buoyancy. Submarines can dive deep into the water, but they can also float on the surface. How can a submarine do both things? There is a great water tank inside a submarine. When the water tank is full, the submarine will sink. When the water tank is emptied, the submarine will rise to the surface again. This is because the submarine's density becomes greater than that of water.